What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video out here on my boat today and we got Cole on board making some mackerel right now because we're gonna shoot out to Catalina Island. Um, we're gonna fish halibut and yellowtail today, lobster tonight. Um, obviously have amazing weather so we're definitely gonna take advantage of it but stay tuned should be a fun one. All right, real quick, you guys, before we get into the video, I'm just gonna show you how I like to rig my uh, halibut rigs. Super simple. I have this little slider right here with a clip. You can clip on your weight. Uh, depending on the depth that you're fishing, you can adjust it very quickly and easily. I have just a little, little bead right there to a barrel swivel. And then about a four foot leader, uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbons, usually what I like to use. And then I have just a regular J-hook. Um, match that to your bait size. Anywhere from like a size 1 to a probably 2-0 if you're doing mackerel. And then just a little stinger treble hook. Oh yeah, he's on. Let's go, Cole. Little one. Ah, oh, but that's a halibut. That's what they look like. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're here for. California halibut, tiny little guy. Such cool fish. Nice dude. All right. Well, skunks off the boat. There we go. They need to be uh, 22 inches to be legal size. So that one's probably like 12. We got a little bit. So that's the first fish we just started drifting probably 20 minutes ago. Uh, just trying to find a zone that has a lot of bait around. Um, we're gonna start shallow and work our way out deeper and just see where we can get the most bites. But that's the first halibut. of it. As you can tell, we're just drifting and dragging these sardines on the bottom um, we have these ones with heavier weights because they're straight up and down and then we're casting lighter ones all around the boat just kind of fan casting just to try to cover some more water two halibut in the same zone so what we're going to do is just kind of circle back around and drift through there because these little ones will tend to hang out with some bigger ones so if you are catching some shorts box that area in for a little bit and just see if you can find a, a nice legal size halibut but looks like that one got the front hook stinger hook is just hanging there so pop that off and let them go hey everybody it's crazy how fast they are they don't look like they're fast or strong but pretty cool fish all right let's circle around do that again oh oh, oh. my best where's your camera Looks like you got chewed though. Uh, it's a good little bite on the top. All right. As you can tell, that one uh, was getting chewed on for a minute there. Classic halibut teeth marks. Oh, 
Oh, that was sick, dude. It's just a wop, wop, wop. Definitely feels better than those little. Where's it got that case? Did it not latch down there? Spot lock this here. Feels a little better, huh? Yeah. A little heavier? Oh, yeah, that's a, there it is. That's a halibut. It's looking pretty legal to me. Plant them up here. Yeah, he's gonna be like 20. He's gonna be like 20, yeah. <laughs> About a this, is where the net, this is where the net comes in handy. I know, I forgot it. I have one too. I don't like, sometimes though the net will... uh Get mess, all your treble hooks. And, yeah, that and it messes the tail up. Well, they definitely uh, are here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try that again. So this one's definitely close to legal size, so I don't want to stick a gap in them pole got short bit again we found the nursery it seems like um that last halibut i had that was close ended up popping off but looking at it um a little more closely i don't think that one was legal size that one's probably like that 18 inches but um like i was saying we got all of those bites within like a 100 yard stretch and we drifted maybe half a mile before we got all those bites so if you do start getting bit kind of box that area in they're there for a reason and they kind of I don't want to say school up, but they'll like chill on top of each other, near each other. Is that a bald eagle on that rock? Yep. Bald eagle. That's pretty sweet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Barry. I just got a barracuda on the bottom on the bottom rig. I don't think that's ever happened before. You're not what we're trying to catch, dude. Yeah, get out of here. That's Please like, don't take those guys stink. Slime rocket, yeah. They're very slimy, very stinky. Uh can you grab me the pliers right behind you? Yeah. Get that guy unhooked real quick. I really don't want to touch them because they're super slimy. See you, bud. All right, just a little update for you guys. We continued to drift down and uh, got a couple more short bites um, and then just got into some like eel grass and stuff like that. So we're gonna shoot back up, drift that area again. Um, kind of just go maybe, I don't know, 10 yards off of our line, the pre uh, previous drift, just to kind of cover a little more water, but stay in the same zone uh, and see what happens. I think this zone has, obviously been pre pretty productive and I think we have a good chance of catching a legal halibut or two right here. So we'll do this again. If we don't get a legal size one, we might shoot down um, and just try a different zone. But weather forecast is great. It's supposed to be like this all afternoon. We got a few more hours. Hopefully we can get a, a legal size butt. straight weight like straight back down the middle on the fly line just slow trolling it got bit almost instant instantly gotta go Oops. Yeah. it's a skinny one dude yeah that was cool yeah, I like the yeah. yeah he's out some milky water yeah 
Yeah. All right, that right there's a calico bass. It's a California staple. Awesome looking fish. They fight hard. Slow to grow. So normally we let them go. Um, legal size on these is 14 inches. Um, if I'm going to keep one, it's going to be like, like 14 and a half to 16 inch. Any of those bigger ones will let go, but that one's just short probably. Yeah, you definitely catch a lot of the 13 and three quarter inch calico bass. Because a lot of people keep them, so catching a legal size one's usually pretty pretty cool. I like to let them go for the most part, but I'm going to keep slow trolling. That was fun. We are. Doubled, doubled up. Doesn't feel like a, oh, eh, maybe it's small. Oh, it's another freaking cuda. Why do I keep getting cudas on the bottom bait? Oh, we got doubles. Absolute giant, but um, that barracuda freaking swallowed that trouble hook, so I wasn't getting that back. That thing's nasty teeth. What a calico, though, this is fun. Yeah, is. yeah that was fun. Not a bad technique. I mean, if we're going the speed that I normally slow troll, might as well slow troll. You never know if you're gonna hook a sea bass or a yellowtail or something, so it keeps us busy. I gotta retie though, cause that freaking barracuda snapped my leader. Having fun. Having fun. Just chase it up. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. A little tiny rat. Like he's he's like ten inches long. Yeah. See him right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a little rat yellow chasing up my sardine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's sick. That is sick. This looks like it got cooted. Yeah. So got bit by a cuda, wound it in. Had a little rat yellow followed up. That was pretty cool. We're getting a bunch of marks right here, dude. Looks promising right here. Then you get another bait out, and then I'm gonna check. Check that one, make sure that one's still swimming in. All right, well, you guys didn't miss much because they're both shorts, but we just had a double hook up here. <laughs> Pretty rad. Come here, bud. Both on Cole's setup. Setups. God, they're such cool fish. Little shorty, little short. You got them right in the top of the face. <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, that came right after we just had that short yellow chase, uh, chase up my bait. So looking that's better. a good sign. Yeah, looking better. We just went. 30 minutes without a bite, so. Oh, 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 run, run. Oh, crap. Let's get on it. <laughs> I got you, go over there. Are they on it? No, not anymore. Oh, okay. I missed him. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, oh, perfect. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Shook them off. Yeah. Nicely done. But anyways, um, we're gonna reset, put new baits on, hit that spot again, and hopefully freaking land a legal size one. There's gotta be one here somewhere. Feisty. I did not want to lose it. 
Good job, bro. All right, that one's got the trouble hook in it, so I'm gonna help him release this one, but yeah, we're gonna keep fishing. It's doing some weird stuff. It's not really doing butt stuff, you know? <laughs> He was doing butt stuff. Uh, yeah, that's legal. <laughs> close. Very close. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That's illegal all day, buddy. Woo, sick. Let's go, Cole. Let's go. On the board. I knew it was a little bit better. Nice, dude. That's so crazy. We literally drifted for almost a mile for like 30 minutes. And yeah, don't break my freaking rig. <laughs> Running low on rigs. Sick. Let's go. I was bit too, dude. I just freaking lost them on like a rock. I think we found that. Found where they're kind of kind of sitting. So this one's actually 26 inches. So yeah, this one's well over legal. Shoot, that first one that popped off was probably pretty close then too. Yeah. Because 22 is like, like where my fingers are. I know. So right there, well over legal size halibut. Nice pull. Way to get us on the board, buddy. Yeah. Sick one here. Couple steaks for the boys. You. Nice fish, Cole. Beautiful California halibut. Take Finally it. got a legal size one on the board. That one's going in the kill bag. I don't know what depth we're at because my fish finder turned off and I keep trying to play with it and get it working again and then we keep getting bit. Um, <laughs> so I gotta figure out which wire I disconnected. We have a bunch of camping stuff shoved into the center console. So no doubt one of those wires got knocked loose. Boats are fun. I might just sit down and crack a beer and let Cole catch all the hell of it. I'll be the, the supervisor. He's already the supervisor, halibut supervisor. When you're setting up to drift for halibut, try to find bait. Those halibut will be up shallow, they'll be out deep, they move all over the place. I've caught halibut as deep as 200 feet and I've caught them in a foot of water. But try to find where there's a good bait concentration because they will move in and out of shallow and deep water. What I'm seeing right now up, in, up ahead of us is there's a bunch of pelicans and seagulls diving on looks like schools of smelt probably. So that would make sense that there's a bunch of bait around here, birds flying around, diving down, that those halibut are just kind of sitting here waiting for that school to swim down towards the bottom and come up and ambush, ambush one. Oh yeah, that's a biter. Get him, Cole. Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. What's it feel like? Talk to me. Give me the play-by-play. -play. Oh, I see some white. Oh, I see some brown. I little some brown. halibut. Look at that little baby. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. Nice. It's cute. I told you, dude, I'm just gonna sit down. Halibut number 63, that short. Oh, that might be a fish. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh. They don't like holding on to mine. Might have been a snag. Anyways, halibut number 63, one of them's been legal sized. We're gonna keep drifting, boxing this area in. Hopefully, get one more legal. That's what we're hoping for. Um, we'll do two more drifts here and then we're gonna shoot to a different spot on the island. 
Cole's got a spot he wants to try. Why not? Oh, I missed it. That was me recording. So Cole hooked another one. Big surprise there. <laughs> we just got it up the boat to the boat, and it's pretty close to legal size. I went to grab it, and it completely soaked me. You fishing like eight pound test? What's going on? How are you getting all the bites, Cole? I don't know. What pound test is this? <laughs> like there's no way to get them in the freaking boat. Oh, dude, we have hoop nets. You're right. What are we doing? <laughs> Just freaking lead them into the hoop net. <laughs> <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Here you go. Oh! It's like we're pure fishing. <laughs> we're idiots. Why didn't we do that with the other one? <laughs> It's like we're pier fishing, dropping it <laughs> off the pier. But that one's gonna be really close. All right, 23 incher. Whole second legal. I need to step my game up, but Two that's legals. awesome. Two legals. We. I think that first one I had was probably a legal size. Looking at this one. I, I know. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We probably should have realized that we had the hoop nets here and used those earlier. But hey, that worked out pretty nice. Just give you guys a little close up. Such cool colors on these fish. Halibut are definitely top three favorite fish. They taste delicious. Catch them year round. They're freaking cool looking. Sometimes they fight. Sometimes they're just like winding in a boot. But absolutely stoked to have these here in our local waters. White on the underside. Sweet. Let's go. Hey, look, I caught one. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I know how to fish, apparently, still. Look at the colors on that little guy. Such cool fish. Barely got him. Dude, I was taking him for a walk. We were just drifting. He was yeah. probably down there just like, help. <clears throat> and a little splash to the face. Yeah. Never hurt nobody. Yeah. Which, w they wouldn't be so peculiar not to be. Oh, that's a bite. Is it dripping, Greg? Yes. Fish? Yes. Gotta be. That's a biter. Okay, maybe, just maybe, <laughs> you two, we have officially hooked our first real howl. I should have just sat down like I said earlier. This is ridiculous. He wasn't even fishing, he just dropped that down. I know, but like, maybe we have a real one. It's the orange beads. I'm using black beads. I told you the beads. God, damn it. It's always the beads. Let's get this out of the way. Definitely a halibut. <laughs> Definitely some sort of halibut. Size unknown. But this rod can make things look pretty intense. Yeah, watch we'll it be like a little 10 incher. Oh, no, no. That no. is definitely not a 10 incher. Oh. All right. Oh yeah. Nice, dude. Look at that treble hook. See, and you almost didn't want to put the treble hook on. Okay, that's a better one. Yeah, that's a better one. That's a better one. So sick, dude. God, they're such cool fish. Eww, let's go, buddy. Let's go. God, I was, he wasn't even fishing. I was drifting that whole time. You just dropped that down. Yeah, fresh bait. Unreal, absolutely unreal. Yes, sir. Nice fish. Oh, man. That one we definitely had Gosh. no doubts. Did not need to worry about that one at all. We'll still give it a measure just for some giggles, but sick, dude. We'll take them. Nice. All right, Cole. We'll come on my boat and catch all the fish. Yep. Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> One, bit. two, three. Backside down. Nope. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Here, hold on. let me grab his tail. Put him in it. 
it's because yeah, he's go. Yeah, go ahead first. There we go. There. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we're, we're gonna cut it there. Yeah, we gotta bleed this one out, bury him in ice. <sighs> I'm not even mad that I haven't caught a legal size one. A little bit. I'm a little mad, but you're mad. Anytime we come out here, it's I call it teamwork, so. It is freaking teamwork. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go next week. Oh, oh! And I got like a plethora of sea bass. Well, I really don't want to. Oh, yeah, let's go. Pretty good. There's yellow. Yeah. Ah! Oh, dude! Fire! What do you think? What do you think? Real one? Uh, it's decent. It's decent. decent. Okay, 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 okay. Ugh. Just catching shorts today, man. Oh my god, it's like cold. our 12 cow. Crazy how you pull her pull her head out of the water. This one's a little lighter. Yeah. Freaking sweet. I giving just cleaned my a, ex, a great example of why the hook is necessary. Yep. Yeah, I'd say at least half, if not more, of our fish. There you go. <laughs> like, Wild I, rivers over here. Yeah, seriously. I just cleaned my glasses too. Flash though. I was trying to keep you out of a net, buddy. Whatever. Ugh. Jeez. I actually did feel pretty good. No, seriously though, this is super fun. Um, couldn't ask for better conditions. It doesn't happen every day that we can take an 18 foot skiff all the way out here to Catalina Island. Um, this late in the afternoon too. Happens maybe, what, 10, 15 days a year if that. Oh, yeah. Normally by this time it's blowing 15, 20 miles Swell an hour. Back yeah, here. it's just super cool. You gotta take advantage of these nice weather days. And obviously, foil. Oh. Did you get bit? Yeah. We're gonna drift maybe another like 10 or 15 minutes, but yeah, when you have such nice conditions out here, you gotta come out and take advantage of it, man. It's freaking what, 75 degrees, 80 degrees, no wind at all. Epic, absolutely epic. But um, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up there. We're gonna switch gears, go target some other species, but stay tuned on this video because we're gonna take these fish to the flay table. I'm gonna show you how I like to flay the halibut, and then I'm gonna cook something delicious for you. <laughs> Touch it real quick. Yeah. Well, Sunday, everyone's out. Sunday, fun day.
Back in the kitchen, I have two beautiful fillets of uh, one of those halibut. We have, we have capers, some parsley, a little bit of ginger, salt, pepper, oil, lemon, juice, butter. Got that going there. I do also have some potato, whoa, steamy. <laughs> some potatoes and asparagus in the oven. But yeah, we're gonna throw these pieces of halibut on this pan right here. I do have butter and oil in there, they're nice and hot. Let's get right to it. These have been salted. Um, they were vacuum sealed. They were vacuum sealed, so um, I thawed them out in room temperature water and then patted them dry with a paper towel first. And then just put just salt on them for right now. But we're gonna let that cook for a little bit. Probably about two and a half, three minutes. And we're gonna flip it, do the same thing on the other side. It shouldn't take very long. These are pretty thin plays, so two to three minutes per side. All right, I'm gonna add some pepper. Give it a flip. Got that nice golden brown crust on there. That looks amazing. It's starting to smell amazing as well. Gonna add some lemon slices in here. Right, now we're gonna remove the fish. Set that aside for now. So basically I'm just trying to get all of the, the burnt pieces out of the pan because I want to save that sauce until the end. I'm going to add the capers next, but I'm going to get as much of that burnt stuff out of there as I can. See all that stuck on there. All right, so I got as much of those burnt pieces out as I could. Add this back on here. And add our garlic. Got that garlic nice and brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine. And just a bit of lemon juice. Parsley flakes, papers, butter, and add our fish back. Back onto the pan here. Let that heat up just a little bit. This is definitely one of those dishes where I wish you guys could smell it. But I know you can't smell it from your computer, but easy recipe. I actually found this one on YouTube not long ago. Been wanting to try it. Been very busy with all the holidays and all that fun stuff, so decided to give it a shot. Rachel's in the other room saying it's, it does smell really good. Get a little close up here.
All right, I think we're all done. That smells delicious. Cheers, everybody. I think it turned out pretty dang good. At least it looks good and smells good. Taste test to come. Got a little lemon, a little lemon garnish on the side there. Oh yeah. Oh man. Give this a try. Oh my gosh. What? It's so good. Yeah, it so good. <laughs> <laughs> Running around doing laundry while I'm eating over here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> mm. Obviously the one without a bite in it's yours. Have you had one with a caper on it yet? Yeah. Is it good? Oh yeah. I always forget about capers. I love capers. Good. This is so good. <laughs> and you've been on the fence about halibut for a while, right? Mm. Yeah, when I make it. It's tough. It is a fish that can get very dry very quickly. But I think with all of this sauce and <laughs> butter capers. I feel like when I make oil. it, it just tastes really fishy. Really? Yeah. Mmm. But this isn't. Wow, well, look. Oh my gosh. Nice little garnish, too. Ah, she noticed. <laughs> she noticed. Oh my gosh, the capers add that like little kick of like salt. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Highly recommend this recipe. Again, I just found this one on YouTube. Wanted to try it. Delicious. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.